Aloha, and welcome back to Ninth Island RC. This isn't really so much gonna be, this isn't gonna be a build video at all. I actually had a question posted to me by one of my subscribers, um, Murphy's Law. So thank you for asking this question. He was asking how to install a fan. And, you know, technically it was related to the Rolarlo AK917, and I believe probably because the carbon fiber chassis, both the, the ready to run as well as the roller, includes a pre-installed fan on the body. Um, as you can see, just a standard 30 millimeter fan, although it does have a special mounting bracket particular for this body that they designed. Um, but he was asking, so what I'm assuming he was asking is because he may have bought the aluminum chassis version, which does not include a fan. It's not even cut out. It has like a kind of a shape that's molded into the Lexan that looks just like the fan, but it's part of the you know, body itself. And so instead of answering the question in, you know, just typing a comment, I thought it might be helpful for others if I did just a quick video showing how you can install a fan on the body of not only the Porsche 917 body for the Rolarlo AK917, but how you could actually install a fan on basically any Lexan body. So with that said, let's get to it. Okay, so a couple of things. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm actually not going to be using a body. I'm going to use a piece of cardboard. Um, I don't have a body that I actually want to install a fan on right now. Um, so yeah, for that, I'm going to use cardboard. Also, and this is just for the AK917. I don't believe it would apply to the Rolarlo AK787. But Rolarlo does make a special kit because it includes this adapter and it is aluminum. So just understand that, you know, your center of gravity will be raised very slightly, but it's probably not going to affect the handling of the vehicle. And, you know, get to, you know, to understand why this piece is needed for the AK917. It has to do with the fact that the way the body is shaped you would be able to put screws through the body and into or through the fan at the back, but with what is going to be the front, because of the shape of the body, you would not be able to use these two holes. You know, basically what you're going to end up using are these two holes that are obviously narrower. Now, as for attaching a fan to the AK-917 body, or again, any other body, you can technically attach the fan to any Lexan body as long as it has a flat surface or a relatively flat. Um, it can also go to convex shape, meaning that it curves outwards. You could actually install the fan that way as well. However, if where you want to install the fan is concave, that's not going to work because that curve, that part that's curving in could actually press against the fan and it would impede the fan from rotating. The other thing is to decide how you are wanting to install the fan because you can install the fan to blow air out of the body or you can install it to pull air in. You know, if I were to like, you know, because I. I rooted on. I set it to blow the air out of the body, basically to help just pull air out, any warm air inside. Now, as for how to mount a fan on, again, any body, it doesn't recommend is actually getting, you know, a, obviously you're gonna wanna use a fan cover anyways, something like this carbon fiber fan cover, or 
this aluminum fan cover. Now, in using the aluminum one, obviously you're gonna have to understand that it is a little thicker, and so for the screws that are holding the fan cover to the body, you may need to use longer screws. I believe this Rolarlo kit, you know, I, I don't know if it includes these screws or not, but you know, this was installed using four screws and four nylock nuts. So it's going through the body, through the adapter, and then into the nut underneath. So, how do you install the fan? Super easy. Um, I forgot to get a pen, so I apologize for that, but let's just imagine that this is a pen, and let's just imagine that this is not a fan, but the fan cover that you intend to use. You know, once you determine where you want the fan to be, you're going to, you know, place the fan cover in the exact position that you want the fan to be, and using a pen, Obviously the fan cover is a lot thinner than this, but using a pen, you'll make a dot at each of the four. You know, I'm, I'm doing a little pressing, poking holes, but you know, with a pen, you'd be doing a little dot. And so once you have your dot, then you would see exactly where your holes need to be. Then you just simply take a body reamer and I'm just gonna really poke holes, but you know, obviously you're going to be rotating this to create the holes that you'll be mounting on. I'm just doing this kind of just to speed things up a little bit. But so there, you know, with that you would have in the body, you would have the four holes where the fan is to be mounted. Super easy. <clears throat> then you would, you know, place the fan cover over and what I would recommend doing is, I'm just gonna do a little speed variant here. But imagine this is the fan cover, and what you would want to do is take the fan cover, and you don't need to attach it with all four screws. Just imagine that you, know, you are, let's see if I can get this tight enough just to kind of hold it in place and by hand, okay, pretty decent. Not looking for perfection on this, but just to get a general idea. So there, imagine that this is the fan cover and you, know, you attached it temporarily to the body. It doesn't matter whether it's the inside or the outside. Um, but again, if the body is convex, sorry, yeah, convex, then you definitely want to install the fan cover on the inside of the body because obviously it's curving away. Then what you're going to do is to cut the hole that you're going to need to create a circle hole. You know, imagine this is a pen and you know, you're going to draw and scoring lines in the cardboard, but you're going to want to draw as much of a circle as you can. to create the general shape, because that circle will essentially match this circle. Now, you know, alternately you could, instead of attaching the fan cover, you could actually attach the fan and then carefully putting the pen between the blades, do the same thing, do the circle with the pen, you know, marking the line there, and then there, and then there, into the body, you know, and you might want to do this, actually, the pen, well, if you're mounting the fan from the inside, you're going to have to do it from the inside. If the body is flat, you can do it from the outside, um, over the, you know, on top of the overspray film. But, so once you get that done, so now you've got your holes, you've got the circles, or, you know, circle done for where the fan is going to go. And at that point, you're just going to remove the fan cover, and what you should see, if I scored the lines deep enough, you know, again, you'll be using a pen, but assuming that your pen drew onto the Lexan, what you should see is the outline of a circle. Now, to cut out the circle, you've actually got two ways that you could realistically do it. You know, sure, you could always go get your trusty X-Acto knife or surgical blade, whatever you use for cutting. 
I would not recommend using scissors, although if you do have a good set of curved Lexan scissors, you could use that. You probably want to, you know, using a drill or scissors, cut a hole to start with and then work your way out to the circle. Alternately, you know, you can take a exacto knife and score, you know, granted I'm again using cardboard, but you know, score out the area. Kind of like this that the circle is going to be. I'm just doing a rough, I'm doing it fast. I don't care what it looks like on this. You might want to, definitely might want to take your time in getting that circle cut. But you're going to do that and then just score around several times. Don't go too deep. Um, you know, do shallow. You may have to go around it, you know, three, four, five times to get all the way through that Lexan. So that's the first way of doing this. Again, I'm just going to do a rough, I don't care what this looks like, it's cardboard. But, you know, score it through until you can get your circle. That's one way of doing it. The other way is going to be faster and also produce a much cleaner result. Is that, you know, measuring the diameter, you could use a hole cutting drill bit. Um, you know, they're available in both standard, you know, imperial as well as metric sizes. But whatever the diameter is of the fan, you know, if you're using a 30 millimeter fan or a 40 millimeter fan, um, you know, you can use that to cut a hole. And if you're going to do the drill bit method, what I would highly, highly recommend is first draw a line from the opposite holes to create a cross in the center. Once you have that cross in the center, you know, let's just say that's the center cross right there. You're going to want to use a very small drill bit first to drill a pilot hole, maybe 1 16th of an inch, 1 millimeter, whatever. Then go to a slightly larger bit and basically make the large hole a bit larger up until you get to about a quarter inch. The reason I mention that is because most hole cutting drill bits, you know, they've got the, the saw shaped outer section, but they also have a dr an actual drill bit in the center. And that is used for the pilot. So once you have your pilot hole drilled up to say a quarter inch, then that drill bit will seat nicely into that hole. But that hole being smaller than the drill bit will help keep that perfectly centered. And you're obviously, you know, going that method, you are going to want to have a good hold on the body while you're drilling your hole through. So there you got it. You got your hole, you got your, um, you know, screw holes and you're good to go. You know, then again, just imagine this is the fan cover. You know, you're just simply going to have the fan cover placed on the outside of the body. You're going to have your fan in the proper direction on the inside of the body. And then if you're using three millimeter screws, it's just right through the fan cover, through the body and into the holes here. So, you know, basically there you have it. It's, you know, obviously it's very, very easy to add a fan to any Lexan body and it doesn't matter if you're using a 30 millimeter fan or a 40 millimeter fan heck I mean you might even if you're doing a large scale vehicle and you want you might even do a 50 millimeter fan or two I don't know you know it's up to you it really does not matter what size you're using in terms of how you're going to cut the hole I mean seriously the process is going to be the exact same there you have it like I said Super, super easy to attach a fan to any body. And again, you're probably gonna wanna attach it so that it is blowing air out to clear out any excess hot air. But, you know, if you have a body, you should say, for example, you have a body that is too close to the motor and you can't install a fan on the motor to blow air onto the motor to cool it down, then that is where you might need to install a fan on the outside of the body. And then obviously you're going to want to still have that fan cover on top. And for something like that, you know, although you, you know, have the freedom to choose whatever fan cover you want, I would probably recommend using a fan cover such as this type of design here, because as you can see, you know, it, leaves very small openings that there's really nothing for any pebbles to get inside. You know, when you look at a fan cover like this, it has very large openings and most of them do. 
So it would allow, you know, it could allow small pebbles in, but you know, if, if you need to install the fan on the outside, again, the one that I just showed you with the smaller openings, I would highly recommend something like that. So there you have it. Super simple fan installed on the body. Mahalo, and until next time.